Uh, let's see. How about you in the blazer and the blue shirt? Yeah. Cool. I'll, or I can repeat it, or, or, or what, what if it's okay if I repeat it, or is that okay? Okay. I just because I'm just worried we won't get to it all and everything. Or they can run up to the mic. It's good exercise. It'll help strength. <laughs> okay. So I'll just I'll, I'll make sure I repeat it. So you were saying maybe you make them feel like. Something you communicate to her maybe made her feel like you're going to be an adventure. Cool. Whenever you guys say maybe and things like that, that shows doubt. You lose a point, a, a point of strength for, for doing that. So at least say, I've communicated, and watch the way you communicate. When you say a statement and it trails off into a question, that shows weakness. Make your statement statements, and then with periods. So, and not, not to pick on you, but whatever. I'm giving you, we're, we're all here together in this. So, I don't think so. That's constructive. Um, so, so, basically what you're saying is, she knows she's going to have an adventure with you that's going to be positive for her and both of you. Yeah. Nice. Good. Okay, yeah, in the back. Cool, a chill. You're cool, chill, yeah. funny, funny. And, constantly and constantly work on yourself. Awesome. I like that. Good. And by the way, I think, I think chill, is, chill is good, but I have noticed something. I don't know if this happens to you, but like that James Bond guy, like the chill, cool guy, doesn't always work at first when you're approaching a stranger. It's good in your peer group. But one thing I notice is when you're approaching people, your energy has to be equal to or slightly higher than yours. So if you walk in, you're too chill, and everyone's out for the night, you're just kind of bringing them down, and they want to move you out and continue with their fun. So be chill when you're kind of in rapport and getting to know her and hanging out. That's a great quality. But don't forget to smile and bring some energy into the interaction originally. Yeah. Sweet. And you can equal the energy. That's four. Okay, awesome. Let's do a couple more just so you guys get an idea what people put. What do you put? really feeling her everywhere. <laughs> he said, I'm completely present and really feeling her while we're talking metaphorically. And what, what, and what else? Cool. Awesome. What was the third? An awesome dancer. That's good. Don't forget to put solid uh, attributes. In other words, if you know you're an awesome dancer, you know the best sushi restaurant in L.A., you're, you're, uh, um, uh, you, you know how to read uh, eye movements and, and hand signals, whatever it is, actually having solid things that teach her things, like you, you can put in as well, as well as your own, your own attributes. Um, because don't forget, even though you've written these down and these are things, reasons why she would call you back, you need to convey them. You know, like I talk, you need to put your best foot forward right away because she only has 10 minutes or 15 or however long you're talking to her to convey these things. So once you write down these attributes, make sure you're conveying them in every interaction you have. Uh, let's, do, uh, let's do one more, and I'll make sure to repeat it. Yeah, in the red. She's going to want more of me. So right at the beginning, she different. Different, fun, fun confident, confident and, engaging. and engaging. Cool. And I like the way he said that. He said that with confidence and a fun way and engaging in a different way. I like that. Cool. And the, you had your hand raised uh, next to him? Yes. You're still writing them. You've got a long list going, huh? Um, this is basically what the, uh, 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 yeah, when you, you have a purpose and you're on the pathway. Cool. You have a purpose and you're on the pathway. What else? Uh, also spontaneous, unpredictable. and unpredictable. That's good. Awesome. Cool. Uh, and a palm reader, and good at reading palms, awesome. Cool, and make sure when you do it, it's, there are a lot of things that we call value demonstrations. You learn these fantastic things. I learned so much, I mean, I learned how to like read auras, like read palms, like you know, mind read, levitate, make things flow, make things mad. You know, I learned how to like, you know, I, could, I learned so many things because it was fun. But I noticed sometimes I, if you go out and you're doing it and you're trying to impress someone, you lose the value it has. It has to be just something you do, and it's cool. And you have to do these things, these concrete value things like palm reading. And uh, someone else said, uh, um, someone else, someone else said another skill: ballroom dancing, whatever it is. When you learn these fantastic things that are kind of going to blow her mind, if you're doing it to impress her, you lose the value. If you're doing it because you're curious about her, you gain the value. So, like, and I really want everyone to write this down because it's important. Um, be non-reaction seeking. Like the irony of the game is that you're doing everything in order to impress her, but she must not know you're trying to impress her at all. So, you know, as soon as you're caught trying, you lose. You ever had that conversation, maybe you found a way to start a conversation, and then you milk it for one second too long, 
you know, maybe the opener, you, you start a conversation by my saying that we're trying to figure out what third base is because no one knows how to define third base. And you start talking about it for too long. And you, as soon as you're trying, caught struggling to keep the conversation going, you lose. So never be caught trying. And that's why we're learning this whole Las Vegas thing because if who you are can be strong and centered, the goal is to demonstrate value just by existing. How awesome would that be? You just exist and you fucking exude value. You don't have to do shit. <laughs> yeah. E is for emotional connection. In other words, you're talking, you're talking to a girl, you're, you, you've showed her why you're incredible, and, but so what? You can be like that with anyone. You know, the next kind of piece in, in, in is that you need to have the ability to really emotionally connect with people. I notice people who really learn this, they get really good at it, but they really don't care about other people. They really don't care about the girl. And if you don't, she knows and she picks up on it and she feels like everything comes off as phony. You know, if you're getting the player vibe, people, they say, you're, are you a player? After you've been known them for a little bit, it means you're not really connecting with them. Or it might also mean that they have fear because they see your popularity with girls. But, but everything she says is a clue. So it's, a, being, it's that thing they call chemistry. You know, it's having her feel like when you're emotionally connecting, she's focused around you. She can talk to you forever. It's, uh, f you know, when you find yourself saying things at the same time. Uh, commonalities. This is where commonalities come, in, come, come into place. That, that's emotionally connecting. When you both find, like, imagine if you met someone and they, your favorite movie was their favorite movie, your favorite band was their favorite band, and your favorite place in the world was their favorite place, wouldn't you feel like, oh my God, I gotta have this person in my life? That's commonalities, and those things connect. Uh, and, and as well as emotional, you know, we've, de we've demonstrated strength. So also showing the flip side, that you can be compassionate, caring, sensitivity, you know, having a tender side, confessing maybe mutual deep secrets that maybe you haven't told anyone before. Things like that create emotional connection, and more important, her confessing those things to you. Um, so, I'll tell you what, if there's time, I'm going to do something with you guys with it, which, which I found is really powerful uh, for both value and, uh, and we, won't, we won't do a get-together task because I've only got a few minutes left. We'll do this instead if that's cool. Uh, do you guys, anyone know uh, Styles EV, it's a, it's Listening Values? Does anyone know this? Okay, this is awesome. All right, let's have someone come up here really quickly. Maybe someone in the back who hasn't raised their hand yet. Uh, you want to come on up? Come on up. Cool. Yeah, and we'll grab a microphone for you. Oh, you're fast. Cool. Have a seat. The, 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 the important thing to this is uh, I used to do this all the time because it's a great way to find out what somebody's about. This is what I did with Jenna Jameson when I found out that, that what was important to her. Um, let's have a seat, too. Make it intimate. So it's really simple. Like a lot, a lot of people in LA, and by the way, everything from here forward is, is, the, way I, is the way I do it. And, and relate to me honestly. Don't worry about everyone else, uh, everyone else out there. Just tell me the honest answers, OK? Cool. So the thing, like everyone in LA, they, thinks like, they think like what they do is who they are. If they're a director, then they're a director. They're an actor, that's who they are. But that's not who they are. You know, the, we, everyone has certain goals and things that are important to them in life. And they're motivated by something else. So for fun, we'll find, out, we'll find out what yours is really quickly. And I actually haven't done this in a long time, so it'll be, it'll be interesting. Which is, um, if you had to choose, and there are three questions, I'll, I'll break it down for you guys afterward, okay? And it's a great way to really find out what someone's about, and then you really know what motivates them and who they are. But if you had to choose uh, you know, one thing that makes life worthwhile for you, one thing, what would that be? Just something that makes life worthwhile. Making other people happy. Cool, making other people happy. That's an awesome attribute, by the way. That's awesome. That's like other-oriented. That's what we were talking about earlier, which, and that really is a great thing. That's, I love that. No one's ever said that before. Cool. And when you're making other people happy, um, what does that enable you to do? Um, enjoy the moment. Cool, enjoy the moment. Being there with them. Being there with them. Cool. So, so if you're, imagine a situation, you're making other people happy. Can you imagine, is there, did that happen recently when you're making other people happy, you're enjoying the moment, you're being there with them? Yeah. Cool. And as you're saying, you just felt something. What feeling did you have just now when you thought about it? Feeling of happiness and security, I guess. Security. Awesome. So your core value is security. And I didn't even know we'd go there. It's really cool. Did you see like how when he actually went to the moment of living it, like a little smile came across your face? And then we said happiness. Then you said security. You did like a little like motion. I don't do like anchoring NLP things, but it's funny that you did that because that means something, that whole like a uh, security thing. So that's cool. We just like fulfilled your life goal in two minutes. You, you can die now. <laughs> We've done it. But uh, no, but for real, and this is the important like, lesson and the takeaway. And by the way, this is all part of it, FYI. But the takeaway really is when you have to make choices in life. And you can see how this is not just emotionally connecting, but also a value thing. When you have to make, and it's true, when you have to make, and this really is true, when you have to make choices in life, you want to move toward what makes you, gives you that security feeling and away, away from what doesn't give you that security feeling. So you meet a girl who you really like, 
and she doesn't make you feel that security feeling, she's not the right girl for you. You meet a girl who you feel that security feeling with, she's right. Same with the job. Move toward, like really, your life will be happy if you move toward whatever gives you that security feeling, and if you find it in yourself, too. Awesome, man. What's your name? Mario. Hey, thanks for coming up. That was cool, man. Thank you. Awesome. And that's also what I mean by value. If you, that's teaching someone something about themselves. It's not about you. It's really getting in, into, into there. And, and like, really, we could have asked Mario. You talked about questions and girls opening up to you. We could ask Mario where he was from, where he goes to school, what he's learning, what he does for work, what color his, what is, you know, we could ask him every question. But I feel like I know so much more about you than, like, maybe anybody I've talked to all day because that really is kind of the essence of who you are. So let me break this down for you guys really quickly. Three questions. One is... If you had to choose one thing in life that makes living worthwhile, what would it be? One thing that makes life worthwhile is the first question. If you want to do it like if you're an engineering student, X equals what makes life worthwhile. For real. We're going to use these variables in a second. X equals what makes life worthwhile. Sometimes you'll be talking to like a girl who, let's say, doesn't like to be intellectually challenged or think a lot. And if that's the kind of girl you want to be with, the question you might ask instead is, name something you enjoy doing. So your cop-out, if that's too abstract, is name something you enjoy doing. That's your backup question. And I know these because we meet these contingencies in the field and do adaptability, we deal with them. So Y equals what kinds of things, if X, what kinds of things does that enable you to do? Remember their words and repeat their exact words back to them because their words mean something to them. Don't paraphrase because that's what it means to you. Their words mean something. Security is important to Mario. Safety may not be as important, but security is. Y, y equals, if X, what kinds of things does that allow you to do? And again, if you're dealing with the less intellectually stimulating people, uh, the question instead is just, what is it you like about that? You know, they're like, I like dancing. That often tends to be the question. Well, what do you like about dancing? So Y equals, if X, what kinds of things does that allow you to do? Backup question is, what do you like about it? Now Z, the important Z variable, <laughs> Z equals if X and Y, like really repeat it back to them. You know, if you are, um, you know, if you're making someone happy and you're in the moment and you're feeling good and you're feeling good or whatever, repeat their exact words back to them because they mean certain things, like I said. If X and Y, how does that make you feel inside? If X and Y, how does that make you feel inside? You know, and again, if you have the simpler, per, you know, you know, I like dancing and, and what I enjoy about dancing is just like being free with my movement. Well, okay, when you're dancing and you're free with your movement, how does that make you feel inside? And just a little contingency plan. Sometimes they might just say good or happy. You know they're not feeling it. Paint the scene for them and let them feel it. And as soon as you feel them feel it, you'll see their eyes kind of spark up a little bit. Say, okay, right there. What did you feel right there? And so often you'll get the real word that's important. Like you, like you went from, uh, uh, what was the first word you said? Happy, was it? Happy, and then you went to uh, security. So happy was not the word, but security was the word for you. And if they just kind of stick with, well, it's good. It just feels good. I don't know a word for it. That's fine. Accept good. And say, well, the feeling is good. Whatever good means to you, whatever you're feeling when you say good, which is something specific for you. And then that's their core value. And then you can use that little joke. We fulfilled your life goal in two minutes. You can die now. Unless they're real slow, then maybe you fulfilled it in 10 minutes. And, and then give them the lesson. And the lesson is move toward your core value and away from something that's not your core value. And the cool thing about this, too, is you know, you know what's important to, to him. You know, like, like uh, you know, Mario is not going to go skydiving unless he, like, fully researches it and knows, he, you know, he's going to be safe or he wants to feel secure around his friends. You know what, what they're going to move toward in terms of your interaction with them. And if you can make them feel that, that's a powerful thing. So that's an example of kind of an emotional, you know, an actual way to achieve emotional connection for people who don't normally have that going on for them. Okay, we're almost there, and perfect timing. G is for goals. Here's, the, here's like the big secret, which is, everyone's writing, but it's not, it's not a writing down thing. But the big secret is this. We're all like, there's always some, we feel like maybe we're not, a lot of guys think, I'm going to try and get rich, then I'm going to meet girls, and I'm going to try and get famous, then I'm going to meet girls. That whole money fame thing isn't that important. It isn't as important as we think it is. What's important is having goals. And no matter where you are in life, you can have goals. So if you have clearly defined goals and you demonstrate the ability of being able to achieve those goals, that's an aphrodisiac. You know, girls want to get in on that ride. Why do you think they sleep with that, like, 
rock band playing at the at the whiskey for like 20 people that hasn't like showered in 20 days why are they buying them bread and you know groceries and shit so they want they want to you know women can be like talent scouts so getting in the ground floor of an up and coming talent is is you so not just having goals but uh you know being able to achieve them and having a clear path toward it so it's not just ambition but it's potential as well ambition plus potential equals attractiveness uh, you know, and showing some stability and, you know, showing that you're stable in your life, but also being a creative person at the same time. Uh, oh, damn it. I have a goal achieving form. It's in the style. It's in the, it's in the rules of the game book, um, to, to clarify your goals. And I didn't bring it, but, uh, uh, but that's kind of a pain. Should I, I'll tell you what, I, I guess as, as an ex as an exercise, like if you can just, oh, it's in the rules of the game book. In the in that in the uh, style life challenge one, uh, awesome, cool. <laughs> we'll see if we can just go through this really quickly. Awesome, thank you. Way to bring your books. Who's got the Motley Crue book? <laughs> What's that? Exactly. I'm gonna keep it actually. <laughs> and I, you know, and I'm really so. Here, here, th this is this is a little exercise that um. That, that, that I sort of did. I'm going to make, I'm going to make this short. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of the way to make this sh short as possible. What, okay, here, here's, here's something good, which is, you know, what name, like, two accomplishments, and these are not just things you want to do, but two accomplishments, you know, you want to achieve in this life, you know, that would make you happier. Two accomplishments you want to achieve in this life, and look, let's look big picture. What are you really striving toward that would make you happier? And they could be work goals. They could be personal improvement goals. Because that's an aphrodisiac too, that, like working to make yourself the best person you can be. So just two goals. And now what I want you to do with these goals, and some of you guys already know your goals, and that's fine. Some of you guys already know what you're doing, what you're heading toward. Maybe you're already doing it. That's great. And now what I want you to do is choose one, and I want you to define it. I want you to write, I will become blank. So if your goal is to become, you know, to, uh, to, learn, uh, to learn how to attract women, you'll, you can say, I will become a ladies' man, or I will become a married man. I will become, you know, a guy with a living girlfriend. Define it as a noun. Choose one and define it as something. I will become what? And there's, there's, a, there's a continuation of the sentence. I will become blank. So maybe you're learning uh, stock, maybe you're learning, um, you know, business and you want to become an accountant, that's fine. Maybe you're learning music and I will become a, ro a rock star. I will become a blank who will, what's your claim to fame? I will become a rock star who will tour arenas. I will become a ladies man who will be known for the caliber of woman, woman who he's with. I will become a married man who has a relationship other people envy. I will become a uh, public speaker who will dazzle crowds with my witty words. Whatever it's going to you know, who will, who will fill arenas. Whatever it's going to be. Write down and, and really make this a dream. And I'll become a blank who will, who will blank. And there's one last piece to this sentence. And we're not going to do this whole exercise. I'll become a blank who will blank within how much time? How many weeks, months, years, lifetimes? Now, how many weeks, how many months or years will this take you? You know, so I, I will become a, a rapper who will have a platinum album within five years. You know, I will become a dating coach who will have my own successful business within two days. No, just kidding. <laughs> I think I owe a lot of people a dollar for that one. Um, cool, just, uh, and there's one last piece. I want you to, uh, you know what, let's just leave it there. I think that's good and, and we'll, we'll move forward, um, forward with this. Thanks for the book, by the way. Um, is this, could someone want to read a couple of years? What do you have? I would become a shaman who will, who will heal people. Within 10 years, that's fucking awesome, man. Give me a call. <laughs>
when in 10 years. <laughs> How about you in the back in the red? Awesome, I'm enjoying this. Thanks. I want to become fluent in Japanese and start a business in Japan and conduct all my business in Japanese within within how many years? Three years. Awesome, man. Skoshi Nihongo Wakarimasu ka? Oh, you're already on your way. Awesome. That's great, man. And those goals, are, those are awesome. Like, a woman doesn't care what your goals are, but having them. You know, I want to be the best damn carpenter in the world and, like, build the best door, not, you know, build the best door that, like, you walk through it, you feel the power of my door, you know? <laughs> but, like, and when you're able to talk about your goals with, with passion, you know, but in a way, but don't talk about what you do right away, obviously, but when you're talking about your goals with passion, that is an aphrodisiac, listening to a guy who really has goals and who's going to achieve them. Like, all these things are just as valid as the rock star rapper thing. What's yours? These are awesome. I love learning about these. <laughs> 